Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today I'm doing a tutorial review of the ColourPop's Butterfly Effect Palette. Um, it retails for $40. I did not buy pay that though. I got it when it was like on sale. Like, they haven't having like this huge sale, when it, I think when it dropped or like a week after or something like that. I don't know if it was Black Friday or whatever. I don't remember you guys, but I just know I did not pay the 40 bucks. And it has all these colors. I like that they have this area right here, which is mostly purples and pinks. And then this area is more orange tones. Because I love orange tones, you guys. I know not everybody goes for that. But the corals and orange tones, just I'm like a sucker for those. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, got to get this. I tried to get the glitter one, but that one had sold out. And I was like, and then I just never got around to getting it. Because you guys already know, color poppy popping stuff out like bunnies. Like, <laughs> Every week, it's like a different one, and it's like, ugh, I can't catch up. Either you just try to focus and just get what you want from that collection, or you just don't get anything at all, and that's just how it is. So let me do some swatches for you guys so you guys can get a feel for the palette. The first color, and, I, and I'm going to have to pull them out as I'm doing it, you guys, because the names are not on here, as you can see. And in order to see the names, you have to literally, like, physically take out the pan and look. So this one's called What's Your Sign? I'm pretty sure this is from um, the Zodiac or something like that collection, something like that. No, look, it's it's a very pretty. It looks like it would totally work for me still as a transition shade, even though you know on my dark tan skin. So it's very pretty. So what the what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go down right like that, so you guys can know what I'm doing because it's pretty hard to do this. And then the next color is called So Good. And So Good is a shimmer. It is a shimmer. It does have this metallic feel to it. It's very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that little sheen going on right there. Um, very pretty. I like that color. I would totally use that. Mm, on the bottom of that one, that one, this one's called Mambo. I'm not sure where if these colors are repeats or whatever, you guys. I don't have these colors typically, so I don't know. I believe I have one color out of this whole one. Oh my god, you guys, isn't that pretty? I love that one. That's a pretty one. Next down, like next to that one, is called Humble Brag. Humble Brag is a matte with glitter in it. So pretty. I love these ones when they come like that. Like, oh my god. You can't really see. This one's actually a lot darker than this one. But this one has glitter in it. So it's very shimmery. You put it on the eye and it's like you see all this glitter on it. Okay, so the next layer or next row we should say. It's called Zing. And Zing is another light. This is a matte one. It is a light uh, brown. And it's between a brown and it has like a hint of orange. I know you guys can't see that much on that one because of my skin tone. But like, see how nude it is? It's like an orange nudie one almost. Probably not for Mimi, but it is a pretty color nonetheless. It's still pretty. And then on the bottom of that one, this one's called Good Thing. Just Good Thing. No S, so it's just Good Thing. This one's pretty too. It is like a orangey one. It is another orange. Oh my god, look how dark it is on next to that one. It's so pretty. I would love to rub this all over my I'm not playing. That's a nice one. So on the bottom of that one, this is another. This one looks like a metallic shimmer. This one's called the Vibes with a Z at the end. Instead of S, it's a Z. This one's cute too. Look at this one. Look how that swatch. Oh my god, you guys saw that sheen? That metallic, like, reflect. <sighs> That's so pretty. I love that one. And then the one on the bottom of that one is called Finesse. Finesse is so pretty. Look, it's like a dark brown. Very dark brown. Very pretty. I love that one. Look. I think I'm going to try to use this tomorrow to like make another look. But I'm going to stay on the corally orange side. It's so pretty. I, I'm telling you guys, I'm a sucker for orange and corals. Like, oh, God. 
This next one is called, this is the third row we're on. This one's called Painted Lady. Painted Lady is a sh like a shimmer. That is like a creamy shimmer orange color. Like, oh my God, look. It glides like butter. <laughs> oh my God, you guys see that? See that? Oh my God. Dang. As an inner highlight, I would totally love that. I'm, I just think like that would stick out so much as an inner highlight. Like, even a highlight in general. You guys see that? Super cute. So, let me see. The next one is a glitter. I'm not going to bother swatching the glitters, you guys, because I feel like there's just no need. But this is a glitter, and it is a gold glitter, and it's called Cuteness Glitters. It's very chunky. I don't even know if... Yeah, there's just no need. Look, it just... It's just a chunky glitter. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. It is a pretty, pretty glitter. I mean, if you like glitter. Because I know there's a lot of people that don't like glitters at all. Um, I don't mind them. I actually like them. I don't wear them all the time. But I wear them from time to time. So, I'm going to start swatching on my other arm. Because as you guys can see, this arm is full. <laughs> so, on the bottom of that glitter, it's called Full Send. Full Sin is a matte. It is a matte, uh, yellow, like yellow, orange almost. Probably wouldn't use that on my skin tone. I feel like it'd be more. It's just not not pigmented enough for mine. On a lighter skin person, I think it would work totally fine, and it would just be just fine with them. But just like for me, me as. I don't think I would wear that one. So, on the bottom of that one, this one is called TBH. TBH, to be honest. I don't know why they do that. But this one is like, I want to say a light between a brown. But it's got that hint of orange in it. So, it does. It's like a peach, huh? It looks like a peach. Super cute. I love that color. I love those colors as transition for me with my skin color. Those are the ones I use for my trans like transition shades. And then in the next row, we're already starting to get into like the rosy color ones. This is the glitter, the high glitter that I have on my lid right now. And high is just, um, it's a pink. And it, it has that chunky multicolor. See, look, you guys can see that. It is pretty, pretty. I like that one. That's what I was like. I'm not doing that on my lids. That looks hella nice. <laughs> I know not everybody likes glitters, like I said. They only have two glitters in here. Um, that's probably why people were trying to order the other one. You know, the, the smaller palette that had, like, all the new glitters that they had came out with. So, on the bottom of that glitter, this is called Friendly. And it is a lavender purple color. Um, kind of worried about this. It looks really, really light, light, like. Yeah, like light, light, look. It's pretty. Um, I'm not sure I can make that work. I'm going to try that one one day, though. I'm totally going to try that color, see if it even works with my skin tone. As of looking at right now, I feel like it would be too ashy or just disappear from my lid. Maybe if I put a good primer. I don't know, you guys. I'm going to try it. So this one is like, it's like a metallic shimmer. This is a dark purple. This is very pretty. Love that for you. You as in the letter U. And love is L-U-V. So love that for you. Four is the number four. They didn't actually write down the whole entire word the way it's supposed to be spelled. Look how pretty that is. Now looking at it, it's not really a metallic. It's more like just, um, it's more like a shimmer. But it's very pretty, very pigmented. I actually wanted to use that one today as like the outer one, but I was like, nah, I'm going to keep it real simple today. <laughs> I only use like three, four colors. I usually use like five or six, you know, <sighs> go big or go home, you guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> On the bottom of that one is called Pretty Please. Pretty Please. Pretty Please looks like a taupe color. It doesn't have a whole lot of pigment to it. It just looks like a... Just like a plain light brown. You can't even see it. Like, can you guys see that? It is like a taupe color. Let me rub that on my hand. See if it comes out better like that. And as you guys can see, 
maybe as a transition shade for someone that would totally work for someone lighter than me in the second to last row where we got the color nectar which is the color of the inner highlight that i did right here and nectar is a very i would say like a pearlized pink color very pretty with a hint of lavender look how pretty that is you guys look at just like i think that would make such a pretty highlight in general that that thing looks like it highlight so so nice on the bottom of that one it's called pick me pick me is the overall lid color on my lid right here very pretty it reminds me of that color springlet um i'm not sure if it was from one of the i'm not sure if it was a flutterby collection I think it was the Flutterby collection. They had a Super Shock shadow called Ringlet. And it's a very bright pink like this. That's what that reminds me of. Um, and this one is called Pick Me. So you just see. Look at that, you guys. That is like basically just one swipe. It's so pretty. The color is called um, Mariposa. And if you guys remember, Mariposa was in the Flutterby palette. It is, and It's not a new color. I remember that one. Because I have this color in the Flutter Black palette, so I know what it is. And it is a very light lavender almost color. You can barely see it, as you guys can see. I'll swatch it on my hand just so you guys can get a feel. Uh, you know, it's just a, like a light purple lavender color. It's got a whole bunch of glitters in there, so it's not like, you know, matte. It's matte with glitter, of course. And then right on the bottom of that one, it's called Sugar Sugar. Sugar is like a shimmer. And it's very pretty. I love this color. I didn't get to use this one today, but it's it feels very creamy. I don't even think you could probably use this on your lid with, with a brush anyways, not with a brush. Looks like it picks up better on the finger. And look at that sheen, you guys. Do you guys see that? Very pretty. I like that one. Okay, so we're on the last row, you guys. Hang up. Hang tight in there with me. I know it takes forever, but I try to go as fast as I can. I know I'm just like a huge shatter box, okay? Um... The last row is called Monarch, and Monarch is just, a, it's a matte. It looks matte with like a hint of shimmer in there for some reason, but it is a matte. And it's very light. It's almost like a pearl um, pink. Very pretty. I like that one. And then on the bottom of that one is called Call You Mine. Call You Mine is the one that I have right here underneath. And that one is another, it's like a metallic. It's got some chunkiness to it. Uh, very pretty. Burgundy almost. Like a reddish tone burgundy in there. And then on the bottom of that one, this one is the one that I have on my first initial right here. It's called KK, like two Ks in the actual alphabet K. And this one is just like a very purple. Of course, when you first put it on your lid, I'm just giving you guys a fair warning when you first put it on your lid, if you're my skin color. It doesn't really show up. It is buildable, though, obviously, because you guys can see it on my lid. But, it, like, the first time that I used it, it didn't really show up. Now, the last color on here, it is a super, I want to say between a purple and a brown. Very dark. It's called ICU. And that is the one that I put on top of that other color, which was the Call You Mine. So I used Call You Mine first, and then I put this one on top. It is a very dark, I want to say brown, but it has that hint of purple for some reason. It doesn't look straight up brown. I'm going to put that one up here because I'm already full of colors over here. It's very pretty. Um, I like this color. Very great for using for whatever. Um, so that's it, you guys. Uh, hopefully I didn't take too long. I know I don't like taking that long when it comes to, because it, it is a lot of color. So obviously I like switching all the color, like swatching all the colors for you guys. So you guys can get a feel for completely for the palette. I know a lot of people don't do that on YouTube, but I like doing it for you guys. So that's it, you guys. If you guys like the look that I created with this palette today, just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, for my first color, I'm going to go in with the color KK, which is this pink one right here. The names are all in the back, so you can't really see what they are. I just so happen to write the names down so I can see, you know, what the name is. So you guys can know when you guys, if you guys do buy it, then you know, okay, she used this color. But you have to physically lift the colors out of the pan in order to see the names off of the back. 
yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that they did that, but that's how they did it. You know, they just left it. I mean, it's kind of cool in a way if you're doing like a build your own um, palette sort of thing. You can take them out, switch them out with other ones and just, and the packaging is very beautiful, you know, but like as far as I, my own taste, I would have preferred they would have had the name of the colors on the actual packaging. It just makes it easier for me when I'm doing tutorials, but it, I guess on a consumer level, it doesn't really matter, you know, because it's just for your own benefit. Okay, you guys, for my next color, I actually used my finger for this color because it was so creamy. And I was like, this, there's just, I wasn't going to try it with a brush. It just looked one of those colors that I knew that it was going to be very powdery if I tried it. And I actually did try and it was very powdery. That's what I'm saying. I didn't do it. So the second color is called Pick Me. Um, and it is this color right here. It is like, um, I would say between a, a pink, like a fuchsia pink, but like a lighter version of fuchsia pink. And I just used it, and it's very creamy, like I said. It's not like one of those ones where you can easily pick on the brush. Because when I tried it, it was like, it was basically powdering off, and it wasn't a good. And it's just so pretty. It reminds me of that Color Shock Shadow, the one that they brought out with, I think it's this collection that they brought out, right? That, what is it? Ringlet? Ringlet. The, I bought it. I, I have it in my in my um, in my box over there. So yeah, it reminds me of a lot of that that color. It's just this bright um, pink, and it's glittery. It's like a shimmer, so it's very glittery, very pretty, as you guys can see, very pretty. So that is the color that I used right there, and then I used um, that first initial color again, just to you know buff it out right here so it's not so harsh harsh for my bottom I'm starting to get little fluffies everywhere you guys for my bottom I used um nectar it's called nectar and it is this color Actually, I didn't even write down the bottom one. What the heck is wrong with me? Okay, for the bottom, I used two. I used a combination of Call You Mine, which is this color right here. It is like a shimmer. So that is that one, Call You Mine. Hopefully, um, I'm not going to forget what's it called. <laughs> it's right here in the palette. I don't know if they make all the palettes look the same. I'm just saying. So it is a combination of... The Call You Mine one, and then this one on the bottom, which I don't even know what is it called. Let me pull it out, you guys. I see you. So, like, I see and a U instead of the actual words. So, it is this one, Call You Mine, and I see you on top of that. Those are the ones that I used right here for my bottom lid. And I just used the Call You Mine first. And then I put the ICU on top. Yeah, you guys, I totally forgot to write that down. Um, I don't know, brain farts? <laughs> I totally forgot to write that down. It's like, I'm sorry, you guys. Like, I try. So, yeah, I just put that one. And then I went in with that same brush after I, like, buffed it off a little bit. And then I put that one on top. That um, ICU on top. So it's just like a darker version. It doesn't even look like I have anything on this side anymore. I think I buffed it out. <laughs> but yeah, that was it. Um, Let me see. I did use a glitter. So let me get the glitter started. I used this glitter right here in the palette. It's this pink one right here. It's so pretty. It's like this light... But it's got also multicolored glitters in there, but it's like a light pink. And um, when I put it on the lid, like you guys can see it on the lid, it's so cute. So that is the glitter that I used right there. And that glitter is called H-A-I. Hi. Or hey, however you guys want to pronounce it. Um, I call it hi, like Shanghai for some reason. I don't know. I'm weird, you guys. 
and I just tapped it in that corner right there very pretty color it, it like accentuates that pink that's already there makes it stand out a little bit more I like that it's not so much of a huge difference it more just adds on to that very pretty pink that's already on there it doesn't take over which I like Yeah, that's really nice. And then let me just go back with that first initial color that I use, which is the KKK one, because I always go over it. And then just blend it right here. And that is pretty much what I did, you guys. Those are all the colors that I used on my eyelid. And, of course, you know, I have to go back with my eyeliner and my... For my lips, if you guys are wondering what is on my lips, I use the ColourPop Hola Chola. And this is the one that's called Traviesa, which is Troublemaker in Spanish. So let me do my eyeliner and my mascara and stuff off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, this is the finished eye look. Hopefully my eyeliner is not wonky because it always is wonky. And I forgot to mention that inner part right here, that inner highlighter or highlight. It's called, um, what is that called? It's called Nectar. <laughs> so it is um, called Nectar and I will show you guys what it looks like right now after I back you guys up and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, um, like I said, that color Nectar is the one that's up here, and it's just a super, I want to say it is a creamy, but it's almost like a, between a, like a hint of pink and a champagne. So it's a very pretty, pretty color, and that's the one that I have right here in my inner eye because I totally forgot. I skipped over that part. But overall, this is a very pretty palette, you guys. I believe they're still selling it, but I don't remember how much it was selling for. I don't know if it was 30. I'll leave it in the description box because I can't remember. I bought it off of one of their, I believe, Black Friday sales or when it launched. The day it launched, I think that was the one that I snagged up. I didn't get the glitter one because even though I did want to, it sold out before I had a chance to. So, um, yeah, that, that's it for you guys. Um, Hopefully you guys like the look that I created today and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys.